The lead story, the New York State Restaurant Association is touring the state to meet with different restaurant owners. Now, the CEO and president of the association met with Saratoga Springs restaurant owners at the Saratoga Springs Chamber of Commerce today. They discussed the potential impact that eliminating the state New York tip credit would have on restaurants. Well, Governor Cuomo has asked the New York State Department of Labor to examine the tip credit and whether or not it should be replaced with a higher minimum wage. Now, as you know, service industry workers really rely on tips, probably as a main source of their income. Now, if the tips are eliminated, restaurant owners will be forced to raise prices on their menus to compensate for the higher wages. Well, we were at the meeting where the CEO, Melissa Fleischert, spoke about the reasoning behind this initiative. Right now he's just looking at it and he wants to hold these hearings. I think that they think that the idea would be that um, tipped employees aren't currently making the minimum wage, which is a fallacy. Um, tipped employees are always guaranteed full minimum wage um, under the current system. If at any time their tips do not get them over the current minimum wage requirement by state law, these employers make up the difference. So they're always guaranteed the full minimum wage. Now, Jasper Alexander, chef and owner of the famous restaurant Hattie's in Saratoga Springs, spoke as well. To take away these tips or to not allow the tip credit would drastically reduce their ability to plan for the future, to pay for their mortgages, pay for their families, pay for their kids to go to school. It would be disastrous. And ultimately, it would lead to a decrease in service. It would lead to uh, a decrease potentially in the number of jobs that are available if, if these people can't you know, earn the sort of living that they were that they've come accustomed to, they're going to find something else to do. Wow, complicated issue for sure.